Hi everyone. You probably know that the highest point on Earth is Mount Everest, 29,029 feet above sea level. However, do you know what the deepest point in the ocean is? Well, hopefully most of you have heard of a place called the Mariana Trench. But if you don't know what we're talking about and are already opening Google, don't panic. We're going to explain everything to you, because we're going to go really deep today. So we're going to tell you about the Mariana Trench. Let's get it on. Well, first we probably must explain what the lowest place in the world is. The Mariana Trench is located in the western part of the Pacific Ocean, near the Mariana Islands. The shape of the depression resembles a huge crescent moon, 1,585 miles long and 43 miles wide. We'll help you to understand how deep the Mariana Trench is. If you could walk to the bottom, then at a moderate pace you'd need about 4 hours. The deepest point is 36,070 feet below sea level. If you want to understand how deep this place is, imagine 13 copies of the tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, placed on top of each other from the surface of the ocean to the bottom. Why, you ask? Well, of course, in the name of science. The deepest point in the world bears the proud and slightly frightening name of Challenger Deep in honour of the Challenger 2 ship used by the British expedition to discover this place in 1951. And, since we're talking about the expedition, we'll show you the first Challenger. It was a corvette used by the Oceanographic Expedition of the Royal Society of London in 1875 to make the first measurements of the Mariana Trench. From that moment and to this day, this mysterious place in the depths of the ocean has attracted scientists and researchers from all over the world. But what is the mystery, you may ask? Let's find out together. For a long time, people believed there were no creatures in the Mariana Trench. Well, just think about it. What would they do there? It's dark and cold. There's no food whatsoever. Ugh. However, in 1957, Soviet biologists found that at a depth of 23,000 feet, there is still life. And the first brave men who dared to plunge into the bottom of the Earth were US Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and researcher Jacques Picard. In 1960, for diving, they used the Bathyscaphe Trieste. This incredibly heavy construction was on the water for five full hours. Having reached the lowest point, the researchers stayed there for 12 minutes. Then they immediately started the ascent, which took about three hours. Scientists told what they saw on the bottom. Flat fish looking like flounder, about one feet long. You may think of the most common fish that each of you saw in school in biology books, but the Mariana Trench hides creatures way more scary than you can find on any school textbook. In addition to this, the researchers also discovered a fish unknown to science. It was a sensational discovery. Scientists wondered who these mysterious creatures were, and why didn't the pressure have any effect on them? Well, maybe a little bit on their looks. Much later, the records of the logbook of the expedition leader Jacques Picard were declassified, and there was some really terrible information in it. At a depth of about 25,000 feet, the team discovered a strange glowing object shaped like a soup plate. The object followed the ship for about 300 feet, then lost interest in it and disappeared. Wow, incredible. In these moments, you really start to wonder if there really is an underwater civilization like Atlantis in our world. And maybe the mysterious Atlantes use floating plates with illumination. Alas, these questions remain without answers to this day. But the story that happened to the German unmanned vehicle Haifish shocked the whole scientific world. The drone was slowly descending, but at a depth of 25,000 feet, suddenly stopped moving. No, it wasn't in order to rest or look around. The stop was unplanned. To clarify the situation, the mechanics turned on the camera and were simply horrified at what they saw. It turned out that the body of the device was attacked, and an unknown, huge animal was chewing it, like a tasty bone. Of course, the team immediately used an electric cannon and started lifting the device, but it was impossible to find out who exactly decided to feast on this miracle of technology. By the way, sometimes near the Mariana Trench, the ocean throws out giant teeth very similar to sharks' ones. The scientists found out that they could belong to the ancient shark Megalodon. If you want to understand how it looks, imagine a fish with a huge mouth, about seven feet tall. Earlier, it was assumed that these animals disappeared more than three million years ago. But the finds of teeth pose a dead end. 
and make us think. If megalodons are extinct, then who scatters these perfectly preserved teeth? Frightening, gullible fishermen. But what scared the life out of the members of the expedition in the Mariana Trench? Everyone knows that the deeper the place, the more unusual and scary the creatures living there look. And the Mariana Trench, as we already know, is the deepest place on our planet. Now, turn on your imagination and just think of the kind of monsters that live there. <coughs> Maybe fish like the Black Swallower, which looks like living props from horror movies. It has this name for a reason, you know. That this small fish is only one foot long. How could it scare the researchers so much? Perhaps some overgrown and completely disgusting angler attacked the expedition. We can't put aside this version because this seven foot long inhabitant of the depths is able to eat fish much larger in size and even curious scuba divers. Maybe this time it wanted to diversify its menu with the explorers lost in the Mariana Trench. That could be true, but this wonderful marine inhabitant lives at a depth of only 65 to 1800 feet. And at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, there are cute inhabitants much worse and more dangerous. For example, the Colossal Squid, which received this name not for its beautiful eyes and tentacles. This is really a sea devil, which reaches as much as 45 feet in length. For comparison, imagine a bus with giant tentacles that just want to hug you as hard as possible and never let you go. Perhaps it was this romantic squid that loves hugging that decided to get to know the researchers better that day. You can say that this is fiction and nonsense, because at such depth it's too cold to survive, and you'll be almost right, almost. Because at a depth of 5,000 feet there are hot springs, the temperature of which reaches 450 degrees Celsius. But the water here doesn't boil because of the pressure, which is 150 times higher than on the surface. The Mariana Trench is inhabited, and this is a fact, therefore it's useless for you to argue with us. But human curiosity really has no end. The unknown doesn't scare scientists, but only stirs up their interest. They are scientists, so they aren't scared of raising the veil of mystery. They don't ever ask themselves whether it's worth looking for what has been hidden for centuries. Of course it's worth it. In 2012, American scientists launch another drone to a depth of 33,000 feet for photo and video shooting. Suddenly, a strange metallic shining thing appeared on the screens. What the hell? This can't be true. It's 33,000 feet deep for crying out loud. What can shine here? Nevertheless, the monitors continued to flicker. Technicians began to bring the cameras closer. What they saw there still puzzles the scientific world. Do you want to know what happened there? Look, there were some large objects like flattened cylinders just floating in the water. A few minutes later, a screech rang out and the signal from the cameras instantly disappeared. Do you still think that nobody lives in the Mariana Trench? The unmanned vehicle disappeared and didn't reach the surface. Scientists from the expedition preferred not to comment on the situation. There are many documentaries about the Mariana Trench in which scientists share their opinions and researchers try to prove the existence of certain creatures creatures at the bottom of the trench. In 2014, James Cameron made a movie called Deep Sea Challenge 3D. Yes, the same director of Titanic, Terminator and Avatar made a solitary dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench to a depth of almost seven miles. His descent on the Bathyscaphe Deep Sea Challenger took two hours and 36 minutes, and the rise even less than expected, only 70 minutes. At the bottom, the director spent about six hours shooting documentary material on a built-in Bathyscaphe escape camera and also collecting soil samples for scientific research. The film also included footage depicting unusual deep sea animals and plants. According to Cameron, he combined business with pleasure. He took material for a new documentary project and also drew inspiration for the creation of the next part of Avatar. We wonder what exactly inspired the director, seven miles deep under the water. Maybe the images that we'll see in the second part of Avatar were borrowed from the deep sea inhabitants of the Mariana Trench. And yet, the land surface occupies only a small part of the planet. Everything else is occupied by water, and despite all this global warming business, is definitely not going to give it away. In addition, the life that originated in the world ocean is much older than man. A number of progressive scientists are trying to prove that because of hot springs and a unique set of minerals in the waters of the Mariana Trench, there can be not only prehistoric animals and colonies of unicellular animals, but also another intelligent race. Intelligent, but friendly. 
It so happened that humanity is looking at the sky, searching for other races in the universe. But imagine how ironic it'd be if it turns out that we had to look under our own feet, or rather, under the water. So, what do you think about all this? Tell us in the comments if you believe that there is life at the depth of seven miles. Write your theories about who actually scared scientists so much during the expedition. And of course, don't forget about the likes. Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions, and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.